So far in the month of April, we've only picked up about a quarter inch of precipitation. That makes it so far the driest April on record. And where temperatures are going, yeah, your lawns are looking dry right now. So the temptation to turn on those hoses or sprinklers, well, we're trying to put that off as long as possible as we're waiting for the spring runoff and we're going to accelerate that runoff here, especially this next week due to the temperatures. Right now though in Salt Lake City, we're at 72 degrees, upper 60s in Ogden, we've got 70s in Provo. So afternoon highs anywhere between five to eight degrees above normal. As I mentioned there, we're not gonna be stopping as the thermometer will continue to rise. Now looking into wash your car for the rest of the weekend, and we're gonna see some clouds across northern into northeastern Utah tomorrow. Not really any possible of showers at least throughout most of the valley so I'm going to hold on to that green light maybe a yellow light though for some of the Wasatch Mountain Valleys in that we could maybe see a brief raindrop here and there not much activity as we're pushing in a little bit of moisture across northern Utah mainly in the form of clouds now no current watches and warnings in place looking towards the south though particularly as we look into southeastern California southern Nevada so we're talking Las Vegas into eastern uh, excuse me western areas Arizona temperatures going into the triple digits so excessive heat warning will be in place as we go especially Monday into Tuesday now across the state we don't see those hot hot temperatures up until the middle of the week now there's no heat warnings in place but oh my goodness we're going to be looking especially across southern Utah temperatures way out of comfort in that we're heading into the 90s close to triple digits for St. George as we'll be experiencing 80s across northern Utah due to high pressure that's in place right now now it's going to weaken just a little bit with this storm system pushing north it breaks down the high pressure allows some clouds to come in but then high pressure quickly builds back in and will be in place here especially as we look for the first half of the week as you can see all the rain well north of the state the storm is not going to be pushing through northern utah except bringing in those clouds let's confirm that though looking at our computer models moving the clock here this afternoon as we look across northern utah we're looking at mostly cloudy skies later on tonight through early sunday now looking at the models as far as seeing any greens with the possibility of rain we're just not seeing except over the in the mountains and that's about the only place that we'll see that possibility by tomorrow afternoon though we bring back the sunshine some of those clouds moving towards the south but again not seeing any chance of rain as it looks like it'll be fairly dry on monday as well with just a few clouds quickly tracking through northern into northeastern utah so we're keeping it dry and models showing that we're not going to see a good chance of precipitation for the rest of the week and for the rest of the month of April, which means, yeah, this will be the driest April on record if that holds true. Now for tonight, mostly cloudy skies across the north, partly cloudy skies across the south. Overnight lows, as you can see, still above normal, beginning down into the 40s, at least through Milford, Cedar City, over towards Richfield, 50s along the Wasatch Front. It's even warmer tomorrow by a couple degrees, heading for the mid-70s in Salt Lake City, as well as in Provo low 70s in price. We'll call it partly cloudy skies across southern Utah. Throughout the north, it's actually mostly cloudy starting off, but we'll see that sunshine a little bit better with some blue sky heading into the afternoon. Now, temperatures do climb. Uh, ignore that raindrop. That shouldn't be there. We're actually looking at 90s and staying dry in the Dixie area. Upper 90s by Wednesday. Hanging on the 90s until uh, Friday. A little relief, though, as we head into next weekend. Northern Utah, it continues to climb. As we go from the upper 70s, a little cooler on Tuesday, but well above normal and quickly pushing to the 80s and staying there at least through Wednesday and Thursday. It's cooler heading into Friday and Saturday. But again, our average high for this time of year, we should be in the mid 60s. We avoid the 60s and just keeping it and feeling a lot like summer.